I have with me exactly 120 millimeters of filament. We're going to mark it at the 120 millimeter, but we're going to ask the printer to extrude 100 millimeters of filament. We mark it at the 120 millimeter because if the printer over extrudes, the, the mark will go into the extruder tube and we won't be able to see the mark. So instead of marking at the 100 mark, we mark it at the 120 millimeter mark and subtract that extrusion amount to the 120 millimeter mark. Now, depending on the condition of your extruder, your printer may over extrude or under extrude. So we are asking the printer to extrude only 100 millimeters of filament and depending on the condition of your extruder, it will take a certain amount of steps to extrude the filament to 100 millimeters. The printer may over extrude or under extrude. Uh, most likely it's going to under extrude. If it under extrudes, you're going to have gaps in the model. If it over extrudes, you're going to have blobs and clumps on your model. So you want to hit that 100 millimeter mark. And if it hits that 100 millimeter mark, that means your printer is calibrated to extrude the correct amount of filament based on the E steps. So you'll increase or decrease the amount of E steps based on the amount of filament that's being extruded. So you've asked me where are the E-step calibrations. Normally it would be right here. The reason you don't see it in the menu is because we activated the slim menu. When you use the BL Touch there is only enough memory in the Ender 3 board to use the slim menu. Even though we're using the slim menu, you can use the Octoprint or Pronterface to input the e-steps into the board memory. Since some of you won't have a Raspberry Pi to use Octoprint, I will be using Pronterface for the interface. Whether you're using Octoprint or Pronterface, the G-code commands are going to be the same. All you have to do is enter the G-codes into the terminal. So I'm James and in this video I'm going to show you how to calibrate your e-steps with the BL Touch enabled on the Ender 3. You will need a micro caliper like this or a ruler to measure the 120 millimeters of filament. And before you forget, click on that button to subscribe to my channel. Thanks. You have to come out because you're not going to measure this, this little cut out piece portion of it want to zero it out. So this is a zero point right here. Stretch it out. Stretch it out to a distance of 120 and lock it right here. Lock the screw. This distance from here to here is going to be exactly 120. And you can just rest the this cutout piece onto the lever that way it'll be easier to measure so this distance right here same as this distance right here. I am going to just use this portion to measure out the filament so the value is set at 120 right here 120 is right there. So if you have Octoprint, you can use that and use this terminal right here and enter your G code over here. This is going to be uh, the same thing as if I were to use Pronterface. Since most of you don't have Octoprint, I will be using the this prompter face instead. I'll put the link below. Go ahead and download prompter face from here, depending on which version you have. Now you're going to connect directly into your printer using the micro USB cable to the USB cable. If you don't have enough connections on your computer, this is a good a dongle to have. This has three USB connections, USB-C, 
HDMI, an SD, and a micro SD slot. It's connected through the USB-C connection. Once you've added your port and your baud rate, you can connect to the printer. Use the M104 or M109 command to heat your extruder to the 205 degrees Celsius or the melting point of your PLA or filament. The extruder is heating up, indicated by this blue line. If at any time you need to know what the G-codes mean, you can go to this Marlin website, go to help, G-code, scroll down to the list of G-codes available. So once the extruder gets to temperature, you want to enter this G code, D1, E100, F100. That's extract 100 millimeters of filament with a feed rate of 100. As you can see, it's slowly extracting. Then here's my mark 120 for the 120. And I'm gonna go here. And then get my measurement. Now we're going to take the 120 minus 26.28. The result is a 93.72. And that's the number of filament that was extruded. Now if your number is under 100, your printer is under extruding. If your number is above 100, it's over extruding. If you need to know the formula for calculating the E-steps, here it is. We have the current E-step value here, 95. We multiply that by 100, the expected amount of filament. Then we divide by the actual extrusion amount, 93.72, which gives us a value of 101.36, or round it up, 101.37. We are going to use the command M92E101.4. To give it an E-step value of 101.4. Then use the M500 command to save it to memory. We will turn off the printer and reset the printer. After the reboot, use the M503 command to verify the new E-step. Once again, you'll mark off the 120 millimeter filament and then extract it. So I've given you all the steps and procedures you need to calibrate your E-steps. You need to repeat this process until you hit that 100 millimeters of extruded filament. So that's 120 minus the number of extruded filament. And if you get a resulting of 20 millimeters, which would be 100 millimeters of extruded filament, then you have the correct calibration. Many of you will have to repeat this step many times to fine tune your process. Thanks for watching this video. If you found this helpful, please leave a like, share, uh, leave a comment below, and subscribe to this channel. Thanks.